So some feathers can be improved by um, curling them. Uh, these ones here are the Lady Amherst feathers. And if we uh, were to strip one side back so that we can curl it just using craft knife and running it down the side of the, uh, of the spine there. Just like that. And cleaning up the fluffies from the bottom. We've now got a feather that's ready to be curled. And here I've just got a regular curling wand. Um, it helps that it's got a clasp on there that'll save my fingers. Um, and it does need to be a curling wand, not a straightening iron, um, because you need consistent heat the whole way around the barrel. Um, I've got it set to my highest setting and I lay the spine against the barrel, clip it, and then I'm just going to spin it around, ensuring that the spine is sitting against the barrel. Uh, feathers are a natural product, so uh, there's uh, no real risk of, of uh, bursting into flame here, just like your hair, uh, if you were to wait too long, could be singed, uh, but anywhere upwards from, from 10 seconds to around 30 is going to be sufficient to give you a lovely curl in the end of your feather there. Biot feathers can also be curled the same way, simply by grabbing that end and twisting around you get that lovely fanning effect. There we go, that gives you a curl there as well. Now um, over the day if you were concerned that it might lose some of its curl, uh, a bit of a quick spray with um, some Crafters Choice spray adhesive would ensure that that stayed in place. The other way you can curl the biot feather is just like um, curling ribbon with gift wrapping, um, simply by running a scissor along the, uh, the spine there. You get a much more subtle fanning of the fronds. Um, so it depends what look you're after in the end. There we go, just like that. Um, so here's an example of how they can be used on a fascinator. You can see them just out here in the beautiful turquoise colour.